Hey guys, so now I'm going to be teaching you how to use the advanced agents, because I'm sure most of you are using the standard agent right now, and it's good. It works well. It's awesome. But if you have the advanced, you have a lot more customization. There's a lot more room to do what you want to do and customize the agent exactly how you want it. That way it can sound exactly how you would want your salesperson to sound. So I'm going to be teaching you the language behind building an advanced agent and how exactly you should go about doing it. So we're going to start off. We're going to create a new agent. We'll, we'll do test three. Do a sales agent. And then you're going to press advanced. Uh, so you can magically generate using AI. For, for this, I'm just going to press create from scratch. So how the advanced editor works is you can think of it similar to ChatGPT. I don't know if you've ever used that. I assume you have if you're into the AI space. So when you're programming ChatGPT, you type out instructions just like you would tell a human. You say, I want you to read this document and tell me exactly what it says in bullet point format two sentences, three sentences, whatever. So you tell them exactly what you want. So what's already built into this advanced editor is the objectives, the policies, everything that the air team already put into here is the basics of what this AI needs to know in order to perform its job effectively, right? So they already programmed a lot of the chat GPT like language. So when we scroll down here, we see where it says start script. So this tells that the bot that this is actually where it's going to be reading from. So this is what it has to say. And it goes all the way down to where it says end script down here. So this is everything that's actually going to be saying. Now, in order to make it say something, you need to make sure that you add this little squiggly line at the beginning of each line, because that is how the it is programmed in the advanced editor, right? So you put this little squiggly line. It's you, you hold shift and it's the top left of your keyboard. And then you do this, you space this and then whatever you want to say. So I could say, how's your day going? Right now, because this is in the middle of a line, this, this isn't a great example, but it has to be the beginning of every single line you do. And if you want to wait for the prospect to respond, you just type this out exactly with the stars. You have to make sure you put the stars. So this is all fairly similar to the standard editor. It's all things that you've seen before, except for this little squiggly line, but that's not too big of a difference. But where the real amazing customization comes in is when you scroll to the top or the bottom outside of the script itself and you can program the bot just like you would chat gpt so if you have anything that you specifically wanted to say so let's say you want to add to the objectives right now the objectives is you're a human in the middle of a conversation that you need to continue following the script blah 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 blah, blah. you can say uh your goal is to get the prospect to book a call with a life insurance agent, for example. So now your bot is going to have that in mind the entire way through. So you can add anything like that and it will make subtle changes to how the AI talks. So let's say you don't want it to use the word free. Instead, you could use the word uh, or the, the phrase of no cost to you. Right. So now, even if that this is not in the script because the AI goes off the script a lot of times it will not say the word free instead it will say of no cost to you so we'll just replace that so you can add anything you want here so this is really just the basics of the advanced editor you can tell it exactly what it shouldn't be saying what it should say you can give it more objectives for it to complete you can add to the policies you can make more rules for it to never do something or to always do something you can change any little piece of it that you want rules for language you're not an ai model you could say you are a dog instead of sound like a normal human you could say sound like a sound it barks by the way i've seen it sound like a dog you should you should reply to every question with bark and rough now you'd have to change up the script a little bit because the ai is going to get confused with with all these you know, different asks, but you can make it whatever you want. So you can play around with this a lot. Let's say for a real example, rules for language. So you can say, sound like a human, pretend you are a insurance agent and talk like the best, if you have someone's name, you can put that insurance agents in the world. Make sure you do not sound like a robot. Always sound like a... You want to over-specify with AI. So you want to make it very, 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 very clear that what you want is in that script over and over and over in different ways so the AI really understands what you're talking about. But this is just a very basic... So I'm, I'm going to be making a new video on 
way more advanced stuff within the advanced editor. Really, really cool things that you can do with it. But I just wanted to give you guys an overall view of how you can use the advanced editor to fix little things in your script that you want to be different or little things in your agent. Let's say you only want to say this or only want to say that. You want to give it new objectives. So little things that you can tweak, but it's not huge, drastic changes. That's what I'm going to be sharing in my next video. As usual, guys, I'd really appreciate if you sign up to air using my link in the description. You get a free advanced account. That means priority calling queue. You get dedicated servers, priority air support. You get access to new beta features. So you get a whole lot of benefits. It's the exact same for you. It's completely free, and it helps me out. So I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Have a good day.